In this video, we're going to be proving the derivative for the inverse of the cosecant function of x, which is equal to negative 1 over x times the square root of x squared minus 1. For starters, we are going to let the inverse of cosecant of x be equal to y. Therefore, by definition, cosecant of y will be equal to x. And we know the definition for the cosecant function within any right triangle of any angle of theta is equal to the inverse of the definition for the sine definition within any right triangle, which is equal to the hypotenuse of the right triangle divided by the opposite side relative to the angle of theta. Therefore, if I construct a right triangle and I assume one of the angles to be y, the hypotenuse of this right triangle will be x, the side opposite to it will be 1, and the side adjacent to it will be the square root of x squared minus 1. This comes straight up to Pythagorean theorem, which states a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, where a and b are two legs of a right triangle, and c being the hypotenuse of the right triangle. So to find any leg of the right triangle, such as b, will be equal to the square root of the hypotenuse squared, minus the other leg of the right triangle squared, hence proving the side adjacent to angle y will be the square root of x squared minus 1. And now what we can do is take the derivative on both sides of the equation, cosecant of y is equal to x, to obtain negative cosecant of y, times cotangent of y times y prime is equal to 1. To, re to rearrange this equation, we get y prime is equal to negative 1 over cosecant of y times cotangent of y, which is also equal to negative sine of y times tangent of y, which is also equal to the derivative for the inverse of the cosecant function of the cosecant function's inverse of x. And the reason why this is true is because we previously assumed the derivative for the inverse of cosecant of x to be equal to y prime because we previously assumed the inverse of cosecant x to be y. Therefore, this equation right here will be true. And we know the definition for the sine function is opposite of the hypotenuse. Applying the two angle y becomes 1 over x negative times tangent of y opposite of the hypotenuse, which is 1 over the square root of x squared minus 1. To simplify this entire fraction, this becomes negative 1 over x times the square root of x squared minus 1. Hence, proving the derivative of the inverse of the cosecant function to be equal to negative 1 over x times the square root of x squared minus 1.